Good morning. We're at the Paul and Skill River once again. So I like fishing this river. Really super clear. I can see into the water, which I really enjoy. The Delaware Lake that I fish at has been terrible, terrible cloudy. Just awful. And the fish aren't biting. And it's been... Boy, it's, it's going into almost week two. With no catches over there. Um, we did have one catch. We caught a little... I think it was a crappie. It was kind of hard to tell. I think that due to the murkiness of the water, the fish aren't getting a lot of light. He was so bleached out when I caught him that he didn't resemble any fish. It was strange. It was just like, unless it was potentially a white perch, that could have been a possibility. So I caught him in, with a whopper plopper pretty late in the evening, almost eight o'clock at night. I mean, I couldn't even see. Pitch black. I have a little video of that. My wife called me exactly at the time I was reeling it in. She was wondering, she was making sure I was okay. But anyway, back to Poland Skill River here. Uh, we're taking a walk here today. We got a couple things going on today that are kind of keeping me pretty busy. I'm either seeing something move or we got just a ton of current going on in an area here. What is going on down there? Let's see if we can switch this over. I don't know if you guys can see that current or not. I don't normally see that. Uh, it's possible that the water, actually the water is moving pretty quickly. We did have some rain, so it may be increased of the water, which would be nice, which would be nice, you know. I want these fish to do well. I want them to thrive. And in order to thrive, they need water. <laughs> Obviously, right guys? So, um, all right, we're gonna make our way down to the spot um, I found a nice deep spot here that I hadn't fished before. Oh yeah, we're way, we're way deep, guys. Wait till you see this. Okay, uh, hopefully you'll uh, recognize the difference from when I caught that uh, big carp. Uh, here's my coffee cup. Hey, you turned this off. This is a very, very different river than what I have fished in the past. With the water being up much deeper, the current is much quicker. I'm almost not used to fishing this with a current. I'm seeing some fish hit here and there. So we're going to stay after it. Well, we lost our bait. Don't know if it was a bite. Don't know if we got hooked up on something. But it was nose hooked. Be pretty weird for it to, uh, not to lose the hook, but lose the bait. So um, the water's much murkier also. Mm. So, uh, I did bring some other plastics. I have frogs. I've got some uh, bass assassins. And I have some Cinco worms. So, I think we'll start with the Cinco worms. Let's change it up a little. So, uh, we're going to use a black with blue speckle. Gary Yamamoto. I'm going to nose hook it same way. We don't have a lot of weeds here, so I think it's the way to go. If I start feeling like I'm losing a lot of baits because the water is up, so I could be hooking into stuff that I've never had the, the opportunity to hook into before. Uh, and if that's the case, I will go to Texas Rig. Here we go. So I went ahead and Texas rigged our worm. When I was bringing it back, just noticed the hook catching to the bottom a little more than I'm used to here and I think the current is kind of pushing the worm down to the ground and uh, not that that's a bad thing but I was a little worried that we were gonna hook up on our retrieve and I don't want to lose uh, the only hook I brought down <laughs> I just brought one hook and a couple different plastic baits so you only have one opportunity with one hook. Uh, if you don't catch fish with what you got, 
it's the end of the day. We're only out here for a few hours anyway, but uh, let's, um, let's get back to it. And I'm sorry about all the ums. I'm trying to get rid of those. We're working on it. So I caught a, uh, caught a nice smallmouth, guys. Really nice looking fish, great fight, good jumper. Uh, really nice fish. Um, Self's a smallmouth, guys. Smallmouth, I think it's the second one I've caught. Really nice fish. So uh, I think that's the second one I caught out of here. Let's put him. All right, he was about, I'd say about a pound, pound and a half, probably about a pound and a half, maybe a two pounder. Really nice fight, good jump. Unfortunately, when he jumped, he shook off my Cinco. So we're done with that worm. And I watched it fly off right by me. So I still have some other baits. I have, uh, that was my only Cinco I brought. Uh, I do have some Zoom, curly q worms we'll give those a shot uh yeah that was it that was a fun fish to catch uh, about a pound and a half maybe maybe just under two pounds but small amount uh so let's get back after it so this is what we're using next this is the zoom green pumpkin with red specks curly tail and we are going to throw him in next we're losing plastic, so that's uh, encouraging. I didn't bring many, but we'll catch, I had five. Let's see if we can get five fish. Lost our super fluke, possibly to a bite. My hook came up clean. Uh, got that nice pound and a half small mouth on a Gary Yamamoto. And now we're gonna try the zoom with the curly tail. Let's give it a shot. This is a very tough, very tough worm to throw. So the current is gonna give me a, a big advantage here because I've tried to cast this thing. I can only get it a few feet away from me, maybe 20 feet is all. So this is going to be uh, interesting to allow the current to do the work with this guy. So let's see if we can catch another fish. I don't know if you can see those two birds up there. They just flew by me, I mean, right at eye level across the river and they're two bald eagles beautiful beautiful i wish i had the camera ready uh but i'll be ready if they come back uh it's rare to see one let alone see two flying together and i see they broke apart one went one way and the other one went the other but it was really interesting to see i mean they came right right across the water they were hovering the water and they just flew right by me i don't even think they realized i was here beautiful i wish i had the camera ready but uh those moments are the things that you see when you're out out doing some fishing it's really incredible and i really appreciate what nature has to offer and you have to get out of here guys go out enjoy yourself make time for yourself if it's fishing, great, it's fishing, kayaking, hiking, whatever. Come out to the outside. Come out here. Get out from behind that computer. And when the video is done. And enjoy the outside. Enjoy what our, our outdoors have to offer us. Because there's things you're going to see that you're never going to see again. Or other people have never had the opportunity to see. And we're blessed for that. Two bald eagles flying right side by side. I wish I had a video, I really do. I've, ne I've seen bald eagles here before, but never flying together like that. That was really interesting. Back to fishing. You know, and another note on that. My daughter, she would have anticipated those birds coming. These kids today are so fast on their phones. They catch every moment. Every moment. Well, we might have a bite here, guys. Let's see here. Let's see. Let me just see. We've got some good current going here. What we got going on here? No, no. It's just a current. 
see our line is well the line's moving pretty quickly all right let's let's see what we got here guys okay well i won't make that mistake again uh the current is just grabbing us big time and this light plastic bait is just getting swept away which we want and i got a little too anxious and i brought it back a little too early the further i can get this thing down the more retrieve i'll have and the more I can scan this area for more fish. Uh, the other plastic bait that I had was fairly dark. And the water's a bit cloudier than what I'm uh, used to. Usually it's still clear here. So that is going to create a new... This, this is like fishing a new place. Oddly enough, and I mean, I've been here many times, probably over a dozen times, 15 times maybe. I feel like I'm in a new place. The water depth is different. The color of the water is different. There's a little bumblebee. He's different. So I'm fishing a very different area here. And I'm catching fish. So who can argue with that? Let's get back to it. Well, we don't seem to be having very much luck with our zoom worm with the curly Q. So I think we're going to switch it up. I have Strike King Swimming Frogs. And I have one Glow in the Dark White with Red Tail Pass Assassin which is a swim bait. So, I'm not really sure which one I want to use next. I wish I had a lot more of those um, Gary Yamamoto's uh, Senkos. That wasn't in very long before he caught that fish. So the current is definitely giving me a hand here as far as getting my uh, this uh, curly Q worm out. Um, but the trouble is, the current kind of does like a backdraft and pulls my lure or my soft bait off to the side. And it kind of just goes down, swirls around, and just lays there. So I have to time it just right to get it back where I want it. And then I have to retrieve it. And this particular worm it seems to like to come likes to come right back up uh, to the surface. I'm getting a lot of line coming out, so let's let's just check it. So I'm using the Bass Assassin right now. I forgot to show you guys. I'll show you when I retrieve it. What I didn't realize is the Bass Assassin is kind of a floater. And that wasn't really what I was hoping for. I'm trying to get stuff to kind of ride the bottom and kind of flip around on the bottom of the river with the current. And uh, this, I'm sure if I leave it alone for a while, it'll find its way to the bottom. The trouble is, it's not like a worm. It's expected to, I would think as a fish, you'd expect another fish to be kind of moving around a little bit. So anyway, as I retrieve it, it comes right back up to the top. So my retrieves are only about six inches deep. So I think I'm going to switch over to the Strike King Frog and I'll give you a, I'll allow you to see that too before I throw it. So um, with further ado, we're going to bring the Bass Assassin in. I'll show you what I'm fishing with. And I don't think I'm going to be fishing with it very long. So see you in a minute. Beautiful day. All right, so here's what we're fishing with. This is a bass assassin. Um, I got a nose hooked. I did start off Texas rigged, but I felt it took away some of its action. So I decided to nose hook it. It did move through the water pretty well, but I really feel like it's just too high on the water. I want things to kind of go where I want them to go. 
So we're going to put it away. We're going to put the frog on and I'll give you a look-see of what the frog looks like. We still have water breaking, but they don't seem to be very interested in my plastic baits. Okay, here we go. This is the Strike King frog. And you can see those little feeties. Those things kick awesome. I'll tell you what. So as I was rigging this thing up, I realized that, uh, you know, Strike King really has it right. Look at the little indentation they have for the hook set. And I think that's great. That's going to keep the hook down. Um, so uh, let's throw them out there. These guys are fun to watch, if nothing else. Another thing um, I want to talk to you about with these frogs. Hold on a second. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about with these frogs are they're pretty they're pretty heavy. So you can get a good cast on them. They swim great. They stay on top of the water and then they start to slowly sink, almost like a sink out. They make their way to the bottom. Uh, we got them Texas rigged. I feel that's probably going to be the best rig setup for this area, being he's going to be dragging along the bottom. But let's see what happens. Okay, so that's it. Got ourselves a very nice smallmouth. Great fight, good jump. Uh, spit my my single worm out, but wasn't able to throw the hook. And the hook came out fairly easy, so that could have been a lost fish. But we kept pressure on him, and that was a lot of fun. First small, actually, first small moth I caught out of here. I caught a large mouth. Just a little guy the other day, but uh, the river's a lot of fun. It's like fishing a whole nother area. I can't wait to come back. Got a few things I got to take care of today. Really want to bring the kayak out here. Just not really sure the best place to bring it in. But we'll figure that stuff out. That's what we do. Like to mount it on the Polaris, maybe bring it out here. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I've got a whopper plopper sitting in the high grass on the other bank. I'd like to get that back. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun. It wasn't much, but, you know, caught a fish. So, we'll see you in the next one.